Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so my name is Tuấn Nguyễn, and uh, I'm going to talk about our work um, on a heuristic approach uh, to planning with incomplete strip action models. This is a joint work with uh, Rao Kam Hampati. And so in AI planning, the assumption that we normally have is that um, the models are uh, uh, always uh, complete uh, in the sense that the action description uh, are completely specified, uh, and the user preferences are also uh, be known uh, upfront. Um, and all objects uh, in the world um, also known, known upfront. And in, in those cases, we only need uh, one shot planning. Um, uh, this happened with uh, many different um, uh, models of uh, planning, uh, for example, classical planning, metric uh, planning, or temporal planning, etc. cetera. Um, even with stochastic uh, planning, where we have um, um, stochastic action, but we, we know exactly the probability of outcomes. Um, However, um, you must agree that uh, in practice, the, this, this assumption is the normally is the not true um, in the sense that uh, the action description are incomplete. Um, normally, we, we do not know um, uh, all the user preferences, um, and the objects uh, are not known upfront. Um, and in, in those cases, uh, normally, is, uh, at least, we, we need continual planning. And, um, we need to talk about another uh, dimension for planning, not only traditional planning uh, um, like this direction, but also uh, what, we, uh, what we call the model-like planning, uh, where we emphasize on the incompleteness of the models. Uh, so um, it can be user preferences, or domain dynamics, or the world. And uh, um, in terms of uh, action models, um, um, when we look at model life planning, uh, we can talk about um, shallow models or uh, the approximate models, where shallow models in the sense that uh, what we have is um, the specification of the uh, task de dependencies. Um, for approximate models, uh, we can have um, some action with uh, uh, some missing uh, precondition and effect of actions. Um, and so uh, what we need to do um, what, what can we do in, in these uh, cases? And in, my, in this particular work, I, uh, I uh, will talk about um, planning where we have uh, incomplete action model. In, in particular, I consider the minimal extension of uh, the simplest um, actions model, which is strip. And so I consider incomplete strips. So first of all, um, um, in strip, we have, um, uh, we assume that we have a complete uh, set of predicate. Uh, for example, uh, in the uh, Kripper domain, we, we know that uh, we have uh, predicate uh, clear X. Um, an object is clear, an object is on the table, an object X is on top of Y, and uh, the object is holding um, an object X. Um, the operator can, um, can be, for example, the pickup um, uh, objects, uh, where the preconditions need to be um, and empty uh, object is clear, et cetera, and, and uh, we have possible, uh, I'm sorry, we have um, um, uh, add effect and delete effect, and these set are completely specified. And this is a single complete model, okay? And um, given that complete models, we define uh, a planning problems um, um, as a, we are given a set of type objects um, uh, from O1 to OK. And together with the, uh, uh, the predicate set, which is complete, uh, which is basically the set of features in the world, well, we have a set of crowded propositions. And also, together with the operators, uh, we can have a set of crowded actions. And we are given um, an initial state and a, a set of uh, goal pro propositions. Um, and what we want is we want to find um, a plan pi that achieves the goal G uh, starting from I. Um, um, of course, given this uh, definition of a transition function. Um, uh, so what is incomplete strips um, in, in, in our particular work and also in uh, work by uh, Weber and Price? Um, we, we consider a set of complete uh, features. Uh, we also consider a complete predicate set. Um, the operator can have, um, however, the operator can have uh, um, known preconditions and known effect that also have a possible precondition and possible effect. Um, and um, I want to um, note that the, um, in our work, we consider, we consider the incompleteness in the deterministic domain. 
And so this is different from the stochastic domain in the sense that, uh, for example, if you, um, if you pick up um, a cup and you fail uh, because of your lack of incompleteness, the, the next time you pick up the cup, you still fail. It's different from the stochastic action where you can try that action multiple times to increase the, um, the success. Um, and um, the incomplete uh, domains um, is defined, the annotation is defined at the schema level with type variables. And the, the meaning is that um, if we have k annotation with uh, this possible precondition effect, we can have uh, two power k possible complete models, and one of, one of which is, will be the true models, which we do not know. Um, a planning problem with incomplete domains um, are given um, uh, uh, first with a set of type objects. Um, again, I, com I assume that this is complete set of objects. Um, and uh, an, um, an initial state and a set of uh, uh, goal propositions. Um, and we need to find a plan pi that achieves uh, goal G starting from I. However, because the uh, model is incomplete, um, what does it mean by a plan achieve uh, uh, a goal starting from the initial state? Uh, th so this is an uh, ill-defined solution concept. And uh, we need a, a definition for goal achievement. Um, so uh, let's look at an example here where we have uh, a set of uh, propositions um, F, uh, uh, which is uh, we have three propositions, P1 to P, P3. Um, initially, we have P1 is true. Um, and the goal is that we want all propositions are true. And we have two actions here in the models uh, where A1 have, um, so A1 here has uh, one known precondition, P1, uh, but uh, it has a possible precondition, P3, uh, with the dashed line over there, and A1 also have a delete um, effect, P1. Um, action A2 uh, has uh, one possible add, uh, effect, P1. And so totally, we have uh, three possible precondition and effect. And so the number of complete models will be eight complete models. And of course, for each model, uh, we can easily check uh, the correctness of this uh, action sequence, uh, whether it's, it's achieved the goal or not. In this particular example, uh, the plan succeeds in three complete models. And we um, define the transition functions for incomplete domains uh, uh, as follow, um, given uh, a set of state S, um, when we apply an action A, we, the next state will be defined as um, S union with all the known add effect um, and the possible add effect, but, we, but minus the, all the known delete effect. Um, we ignore the possible delete effect because it might not happen. And we also ignore the possible uh, precondition because that may not happen, and um, we don't need to consider that. And the, re um, the definition for um, applying an action sequence at a state S can be defined recursively. And this definition, um, this transition function actually uh, an approximation of uh, uh, the real one, which is the, um, um, a function defined on uh, a belief state, a set of state. Uh, but this definition, um, uh, guarantee the completeness and soundness in the sense that um, any solution in the in the complete strip action models will exist in the solution space of the problem of incomplete domain, and soundness in the sense that uh, any plan that I return using this incomplete strips, um, um, there will be one complete strip models under which this plan succeeds, but that complete model of course may not be the real one, and so plan may still fail. And so, um, uh, based on the example, uh, you might um, uh, see already see that naturally we want to uh, define, um, we prefer a plan that succeeds in as many complete models as possible. And so, um, we define the uh, uh, robust, uh, robustness measure as a fraction of the complete models that uh, plan succeed. In this case, uh, in this example, the robustness of this plan is uh, 3 uh, over 8. And um, 
in our work, we also allow the domain writer to specify some uh, uh, weight on uh, possible prediction and, and effect. And the robustness measure of a plan will be defined as the um, um, sum summation of the um, probability of complete models under which the, uh, a plan succeeds. Okay, so um, next I will um, talk about two uh, problems that uh, we can see. The, the first one is that given uh, a plan and given an incomplete model, how do you um, uh, compute or how do you uh, assess the robustness of uh, that plan? Um, um, we will talk about how to do that using weighted model countings. And we also uh, um, talk about the complexity of these problems. And the second problem I will talk about is how to synthesize a robust plan uh, using a heuristic approach. Um, so for plan robustness uh, assessment, um, as I mentioned, we are given an incomplete domain, um, um, an initial state, and a set of goal propositions. And we are given a plan. And uh, the way we compute the plan robustness is that we will construct a set of correctness constraints for that plan. Um, uh, this set of constraints uh, will make sure that the state transition of all actions uh, will be correct. And eventually, after you execute all of these actions, the goal will be achieved. Um, and after that, the robustness of that plan will be the weighted model count of, um, of the set of um, the resulting causes um, constraints. And so, um, um, there are four types of correctness constraints. I need to uh, uh, talk a little bit about this because I, later on I will use this in synthesizing robust plans. Uh, the first type of uh, uh, correctness constraint is the uh, establishment constraint for known preconditions. Uh, in this uh, example, uh, we have AI uh, over there as a um, known precondition P. Uh, and uh, before that, we know that uh, we know for sure that P is false. And so uh, one of the action A came in between, uh, uh, which has a P as a possible uh, edge effect. One of these need to be uh, uh, need to have P as an uh, as a for sure uh, edge effect, so that the, the action A I can be executed. And um, one important thing is that um, we need to uh, to include this similar constraint for the goals. Um, the second type of correctness constraint is the establishment constraints um, for possible precondition um, of actions. So similar to the previous one, in this case, we need um, we only need this constraint. So here, AI has P as a possible uh, precondition, and so we need a, a similar set of constraints only if uh, P here is realized as a known precondition of actions. Um, and the other two uh, set of constraint is the protection constraint for non preconditions um, and um, um, protection constraint for possible preconditions. Um, so this is um, the set of constraint uh, that we can set up for given uh, plans. Um, I color them uh, differently because later on I will use them. Um, so we show that we can uh, assess the plan robustness using um, um, weighted model counting, but uh, um, we also show that it, uh, the, um, um, the complexity of the two problems are actually uh, equivalent, which is the uh, Sharpie uh, complete. Um, so for uh, next, I will talk about uh, synthesizing robust plans uh, using a heuristic approach. Um, so uh, in our approach, we uh, uh, we use an uh, any time map method where initially uh, um, we have a threshold delta which is zero initially, and we try to find um, a plan with uh, uh, whose robustness is greater than delta. And if a plan uh, is uh, found, then we update that uh, threshold and we continue. And uh, there are two parts in um, in my approach uh, that I need to uh, do, which is the, the first one is the heuristic and the search the heuristic, and the second one is the search. For the heuristic, uh, we need to compute um, how far it is from the current state S uh, to the goal given uh, a robustness threshold delta. And um, 
because uh, given that the calling the exact way the model counting is uh, costly, um, uh, I want to avoid that by uh, just using the lo uh, low bound on the weighted model countings. Um, here is the, um, so instead of finding a relaxed plan uh, to the pi uh, with the weighted model countings uh, greater than delta, I will uh, only consider the low bound of that uh, greater than delta. Uh, note that here we need to consider, we need to take into account the set of constraints for the plan prefix also. Um, to compute the low bounds, uh, um, I need to come back to the set of constraints for the uh, plan uh, um, for the uh, plans, and um, we notice that um, all the um, all the um, uh, the boolean variables corresponding to possible uh, recognition and possible uh, delete effect um, can be can be turned into um, negative uh, literal. And the whole set of uh, clauses can be considered as a set of uh, um, clauses with possible, uh, positive literal only. And we, of course, we need to change the weight for the, uh, uh, for the variables. Uh, and so, um, uh, again, the set of clauses can be uh, turned into a set of uh, clauses with positive literal. And uh, given that, um, given that property, uh, we can show that the prob probability of uh, um, a set of clause C is, is true given a set of clause C prime is true is uh, will not decrease um, if we we know uh, that uh, C prime is also true and so um, and so we can show that um, one low bar we can use is uh, that we can um, um, take the product of the probability for uh, of all the clauses um, in the set. And this equality can can hold when all the clauses are independent. Um, and um, my heuristic is the relaxed plan-based heuristic, um, uh, where uh, okay, I think I've run out of uh, time, but I will try to uh, uh, move fast. Um, um, my heuristic is the relaxed plan-based heuristic, where in the uh, relaxed planning graph I will ignore all the known and possible delete effect, and I uh, I. Uh, I will propagate all the clauses over the uh, relaxed planning graph and then uh, extract the relaxed plans. Um, so um, the relaxed plan extraction will, uh, I, I do it backward um, as um, um, normally uh, did. Um, and one, um, during the instructions, the uh, relaxed plans of the action will be kept in total order, and we succeed only when all the known preconditions are supported and the, uh, the low bound of the set of constraints for the plan prefix uh, plus the set of constraints for the relaxed plans is greater than uh, delta. Um, um, so just one thing I just want to mention one thing um, because I think I um, out of um, time is that um, um, is that uh, during the the, uh, the uh, extraction of the relaxed plan I only uh, we only insert the um, an actions if that is such increase the robustness of the current relaxed plans um, this is the way that we um, balance between the um, the robustness um, and the reachability. Okay, so um, um, one other thing is that uh, in terms of the search, I used uh, stochastic local search used by Andrew Coles in 2007. Um, um, the reason is that um, this search uh, used local search to escape uh, uh, local uh, uh, minima and I can avoid the check in the duplicate uh, belief state. Um, um, we compare with um, uh, the fault uh, in five domains, and um, it's better in uh, better than um, the previous approach in four domains, uh, worse in one. Um, and we also compare our, in terms of um, um, the time to generate uh, the same robust plans. Um, um, 
one thing I want to mention is that uh, the incompleteness has also been uh, discussed in um, uh, other area, uh, in particular markup decision process. Um, okay, I think I. Um, Thanks. Thank you, speaker. Okay, we have time for a couple of quick questions. Uh, yes, I have to. I have to do the weighted model counting, but uh, no, no, I use the catches. But uh, but one thing is that we uh, do not all we do not always um, um, call the exact weighted model counting only if the upper bound on um, is greater than the threshold. One more question. I have one question. Um, so one of the differences between your work and mine was um, how you determine when you cannot execute a plan because the model doesn't allow it, that either the plan can break or you can continue on, or you just have a no-op. Which semantics do you use for when um, you're executing a plan? Can you count that model towards success if the plan is no longer executable? Um, in this heuristic, is. Uh is still full of the, the, the because uh, this is the underlying model is still strip models, and so um, it doesn't allow um, action to fail. Um, okay, so if you apply an action that does not have its preconditions met, then it's still uh, the plan is completely fail. But okay. um, um, a more realistic approach is consider a conditional um, semantics, but in that that case the uh, the setup <coughs> constraint for the blank correctness uh, is uh, more complicated. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you.